Welcome to this focus learning interview. This one will be with Michele Di Paola, who lives in Milano, um, or near Milano in Italy, uh, and is a youth worker for a local organization, but also works as, uh, as a trainer in the European youth work field. His great expertise, however, is everything which has to do with games, with social media, with apps, with the web, and how that relates to working with young people. So we are very happy to steal some moments from his time to talk about digital, about use work, and about learning and use work and how that combines. Uh, Michele is, by the way, also the one responsible for all the digital aspects of the Focus Learning Project. Uh, my name is Paul Klosterman. Okay, welcome, uh, Michele. Um, Thank you. That was a very, very serious introduction. Now yes, I yes. feel like... Yeah, you're really there, no? Yeah. No, but it's true. No, I remember the first time we talked, well, what was it, which was about 10 years ago or something like that. And well, no. um, um, because most of us in, in, in focused much more on this whole digital thing in the last um, in the last two years because of uh, of this virus um so we were forced in a way to do that but i remember from that talk 10 years ago that you already uh, were very much into everything which has to do with digital use work and you were you were already thinking about that uh, implementing that doing things with that can you tell me a little bit about how that started, how you got into this thing of digital and using that in, in your use work practice. That, uh, you know that's your fault because <laughs> <laughs> no, because because uh, we let, let's make it public because uh, when I was attending training training of trainers by, by Salto, uh, as you may know, you have to prepare at the end of the training one practice project. And uh, you have a, a mentor figure in the team. And my mentor figure was Paul Klosterman. <laughs> uh, and the idea that I, I had yeah, very clear in my mind that I wanted to do something connecting exactly the digital domain with youth work, which back then was like 2015, something like that, was yeah quite unusual. Uh, and, and so... Uh, you said, why not? That could be very interesting. And you kind of motivated me in going a bit further and deeper into it. And, 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 and then we made with other fellow members of that uh, thought edition, our practice project, which was a training course called Dig It Up, which was probably one of the first, if not the very first training course aiming at giving some expertise to youth workers uh, about how to include uh, a digital dimension, let's say, in your youth work activities. Back then, of course, we were thinking about how to use digital stuff in open air activities or anyway, group activities and so on. But then uh, from one side, things and platforms and tools evolved. And on the other side, we were all forced to embrace uh, a much more uh, online dimension. So of course, I, I had to figure out and to come up with some ideas also on how to actually have youth work activities in mm -hmm. digital, uh, in this case, in digital spaces. Yeah, uh, but you, you are a little bit too modest now to, 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 because you were already very much into digital things before, no? Yeah, but it, because uh, that's my, my, uh, my, my secret pleasure. Uh, <laughs> I've been a nerd uh, since I mean, all my life, I guess. <laughs> uh, thanks to my father, which gave me uh, an Apple II computer as a present when I was probably 10 or 11 years old. Uh, so I started to, to, to dig a bit into computers in a kind of a serious way back then. And, uh, and I was a bit ahead always of what was coming for the general public, let's mm -hmm. say. So also when the internet came, uh, I, I was one uh, member of one of the first uh, Italian platforms of discussion online. So I, yeah, I, I built a bit of experience about how to uh, stay in a community of people and use uh, technology and, 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 and digital environments uh, in a community way, let's say, since the very beginning. So yeah. my, of course, my other uh, activity and other focus was being a youth worker. And of course, I had to find a way to, to, to yeah. link the two, the two areas. So here I am. Yeah. 
Yeah. So for you, in a way, it was probably also much easier than for for um, for a lot of other people. Um, uh, but if, if well, there are many discussions always going on about use work and digital, and how much should it be digital, and how much is it is it is it maybe even ruining the the, the relationship or, but. But, but what for you, if you look at, 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 at using digital tools and maybe also taking into account what we went to in the last two years with being forced also to, 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 to use digital tools, what, what, what are the challenges? What, what, what is difficult about it? Well, I guess the, the most challenging aspect of this is, uh, especially when, when we discuss about using online spaces, like meeting like we are now uh, being connected from different places in, in, in using a space like this one, which is not an actual place, but it's somewhere in, in some computer, uh, somewhere in some part of the world. Uh, so in, in that aspect, I guess the most challenging aspect is that the uh, bodies are not there. Uh, mm -hmm. There is no physical dimension. There is no mm -hmm. presence uh, from, for some aspects, it can also be a positive uh, challenge, meaning that uh, people that usually could have some challenge from the fact of having to be physically somewhere mm -hmm. because they have some kind of disability or because they have some other condition or they live in the middle of nowhere or uh -huh. so many other reasons can really take advantage. Yeah. And of course, on the other side, there are uh, negative challenges, like the fact that uh, we are not used as human beings no? to, to be in relationship with someone without physically mm -hmm. being there. This is completely a new uh, experience for, for us uh, as humankind. I mean, so we really have to still uh, deal with it and find a way to... Uh, to cope with it. And, and that's why also a lot of people report uh, online fatigue and, and stress yeah. and difficulty to, to mm -hmm. stay connected for many hours and so on, because it's simply something which is not part of our body experience. And then mm -hmm. we have to force us a little bit to, to be there. Uh, so the, the, how to overcome the, this effort is probably the, the most important, relevant, complicated part in uh, technology as a place where people can meet yeah yeah but by the way i thought it was me but one of us is is sometimes uh, touching the computer i think and then oh, we get the sound <laughs> um, that, that's also part of the, of the, oh, yeah, of the challenges of working online or that you um yeah but um no and, and, and what, what do you think because one argument is always mentioned, well, we are not without bodies there, um, it, it, that it's harder to, to, to create, let's say, a group online. It's harder to make social connections. How do you see that? And, and do you also see solutions for that? Well, I, I see that solution as slowly uh, popping up. Uh, mm -hmm. After one year and a half of being forced to meet online almost exclusively new platforms started to appear like i don't know gather town just to tell one where you have a little character a little avatar and you can go around and meet other people and if you are close or far from someone else then you can listen or you cannot listen what they are saying so a little uh, experiment to try to recreate uh, the experience of meeting people in a, in a, in a real space put in an online space and this is just a first attempt, but it's already way better than being all together in, in some square yeah. made of little boxes with faces or without faces, more likely. Uh, so I guess that we should really uh, wait for, for things to happen. And maybe that could be interesting also start to make things happen. Huh? Uh, I mean, development of digital tools, it's an expensive thing. But I'm hoping that sooner or later we will start to have platforms or apps or tools somehow developed as uh, outcomes or, I don't know, intellectual output of uh, Key Action 2 projects as we have been having, you know, board games or card games for, for so many years. Maybe mm -hmm. someone is already planning 
to, to, to go in that direction. Uh, the point is that, as I said, that the budget to, to create uh, something which is really effective and working online, it's way bigger than the one needed to, to create a card set. So that's also this aspect to, to, to keep in mind. You should say in a way, use workers or use work should should take more initiative and also in, in, in developing things online. Well, I, th I think that some sooner or later it will happen uh, naturally. Uh -huh. uh, then uh, with which uh, amount of, uh, I don't know, professionalism or effectiveness, uh, that's always to be debated. Uh, uh -huh. But, you know, a lot of materials have been created during years of projects. Some of them are quite, you know, crappy, let's say. Uh, uh -huh. Others are very good and, and very useful and still used after years. So it may happen that someone will pop up with some idea that will become something to be used uh, while trying to do youth work activities in digital spaces. So far, we are completely dependent to what has been provided to us by big companies. And yeah. of course, this is, uh, I mean, easy for, for one side because everything is free, everything is there mm -hmm. and everybody knows how to use it. But on the other side, of course, there are a lot of issues, no privacy, data exploitation, yeah. and so on and so on. Uh, so it would be nice that sooner or later we could make something in, in to change the situation. But I, I don't know. I mean, it, it will take some time, definitely. And by the way, I'm thinking now, when the two of us are talking about this, certainly me being much older, but is it like that that maybe young people, that we see all kinds of problems, which young people maybe don't experience that much because they are anyway on social media and using apps and things more. They have another, would they have another perception? Well, you know, there is this uh, idea of digital natives that some Canadian journalist, Mark Premsky wrote in his article, more than 10 years ago already uh -huh. and then himself he wrote i was wrong uh, but but that part didn't get to the media attention yet uh, so there is this idea that young people are digital natives and I, I think there's no such thing as digital natives i mean it's not that since you have born in a time when there are plenty of devices around then automatically you know how to use them it's mm -hmm. not like that uh, of course, they're more familiar, so yeah. less. Uh, I feel less intimidated by using devices. Yeah. Um, this is something that you can already notice. A new mm -hmm. generation of youth workers are, uh, at least in my experience, uh, really more open to the idea of incorporating activities, relying on platform, relying on use of mobile phones or whatever in their youth work. But not, not all of them. Because again, it's a matter of your background, your knowledge, your, your training and so on. So probably there will be, and there are coming uh, more and more younger youth workers, which will be more familiar and comfortable with using mm -hmm. these tools, but others probably that still do not think and do not feel that that is part of what they want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess in general, what it's, going to to grow it's, it's yeah the familiarity the closeness to to yeah. the idea of using devices the confidence and then the knowledge about how to use them not automatically i would say i think there has all be there was a discussion when uh, when when talking about the, the competence framework for for um, for use workers if the digital competence should be a new competence and then they decided well that's not really want competence, but it should be placed under other competences. It's anyway an important yeah, part. And, and then someone had to place it there. And imagine who was. I don't know. You, well, you. It was me. <laughs> okay. it was me. Uh, then you're the right one to, 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 <laughs> to answer this question. Yeah. Because then what, what do you think are, are specific competences when it comes for use workers? Because you say you know, that there's some young, maybe young use workers who use it well, quite easy. But there, are, I know also a lot of use workers in, well, in all the different ages who are struggling with it. How can we do that? How can we, but, what, what do they what what do they need to be competent on to 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 make steps in that? 
yeah, also now that there is um, this project of cooperation between many national agencies called SNAC, which is trying to explore this, this dimension of digital youth work. And uh, there is an ongoing discussion inside uh, an expert group I'm part of. Wow. Uh, and, and the topic is exactly about that. You know, we have so many competence models. Because the commission itself, they made DigiComp, which is digital competence for all citizens. And then they made the same commission made DigiComp Edu, digital competencies for all citizens, but especially for the ones working in education. And then there are at least other five models. And then there is ETS for youth workers and trainers. So first problem is we have more than enough. And I mean, it's, it's about time to, to, <laughs> to, to sit somewhere and to say, guys, let's look at these and these small model and maybe that's enough. And one of these groups, I mean, this expert group I'm part of, as this as one of these tasks, you know, try to uh, clean up a bit all this mess of different models and different set of competencies needed to embrace, you know, digital uh, youth work. Let's call it like that. Uh, going exactly to ETS, uh, as you mentioned, the, the discussion was: uh, should we create a new area, or should we put this as a transversal dimension in the existing areas? So the idea is was that let's let's put it transversal uh, across the areas which are already there because there are a lot of improvement and updates that are being done to the model and this is just one but other are coming there is an ETS conference uh, in the beginning of March 2022 yeah. and I guess that would be the moment when all these updates will be made public mm -hmm. uh, so Regarding the digital dimension of the, of the ETS competencies, uh, the guiding principle was that uh, we need to make sure that everybody is on board with at least a basic, very basic, but very clear uh, set of knowledges, skills, uh, attitudes, behavior, uh, the areas in which the model is divided. And, and, and these are the, the, the elements that allow you to decide if you want to do something online or you want mm -hmm. to do something digitally or not. Mm -hmm. uh, but then the more the more we go deeper into it, the more it starts to appear the fact that if you decide to go that way, probably after a certain step, after a certain level, you may probably need something more specific <coughs> to, to help you really define what you're doing there. So I don't know, it's, it's a bit of a guess, but I guess probably in the future, the situation could set uh, with a general set of competencies which are for everybody, and then something more specific if you really want to go uh, deeper into the idea of using a digital aspect of youth work in your, in your practice. So for instance, if you want, I don't know, I mean, something which is kind of uh, interesting for me lately, use video game as a space for, for youth work. Uh, well, that's quite specific. You know? So it's yeah. probably not something that every youth worker in the world would aim at. So probably it would need something more detailed and more focused on mm -hmm. that very aspect. While uh, being aware, I don't know, of the issues that we were mentioning before about using big platform, exploiting users' data and so on, that should be nowadays, 2022, common knowledge of everybody yeah. doing youth work and dealing yeah. with young people. No? Yeah, yeah. But it's about kind of basic knowledge, basic skills in any way using, let's say, in, in, in regular use work, because then there are, of course, a lot of applications which go there, and then there are more specializations, but we have it anyway, use work, you know, like there are use workers who go for outdoor activities. Not exactly. All use workers do that. And exactly. That, uh, I mean, every, every youth worker should know a little bit about how to do something outdoors. But then yeah. if you plan to do uh, adventure camps for a week, hiking in the mountains, probably you need extra you competencies need and knowledge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah and then, then I have the feeling that um, um, it will anyway not stop, no? It, 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 I mean, we had a kind of, that became more because of COVID, but anyway, uh, in the future, more and more um, digital will, 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 Take things over, and but but that's of course also very hard to 
well, we have no idea you know, what is possible in three years. Or uh, that's, years. That's, that's really complicated because one, technology is changing very, very quickly. And two, the situation we are facing now, it's really super uncommon. Someone tried to, to do the calculation and said, uh, this situation made us advance in this process of embracing more technology. Few years, let's say, someone three, someone say four, six, whatever. Uh, meaning that we we made in in a couple of years what advancement should have been made in like six year or more. So of course it's a steep uh, increase. Probably from a certain moment on we will set for a slower uh, or lower curve of of, of increase, but. I mean, as long as uh, technology and, and digital tools and spaces have proven to be effective, then I guess it would, could, should, <laughs> choose the, the expression you like, stay. Uh, other other parts probably will come back to, get back to, to presence. And I expect also a, a bigger return to, present in, in, in person activity, I mean, because honestly, we've been a bit all fed up with, with this. No? So I guess At that this moment, yeah. Yeah, there will be a, a bit of a setback as always happens when there is a very quick yeah. run uh, towards something. Yeah. And then probably there will be a balance after yeah. and the balance will probably set up in, in a slower but constant uh, yeah. increase of ways of using and introducing technology into your world. But yeah. then who knows, maybe tomorrow morning we wake up with another kind of virus and <laughs> we're all fucked up, so we don't know. Let's end this a little bit more positive, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, but, 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 but anyway, it's clear that, 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 that the digital will, will be there and will probably grow, you know, and, or, and, and that will go in waves, but... Uh, and at the same time, we get used to it. No, and I think a few years ago, it was already very exciting to be in a meeting like this. That was something very new. Well, now it's the most normal thing. So that also that that perception of things changes a lot. Okay, uh, Michele, thank you very much um, uh, to uh, enlighten us about uh, digital in use work and um, and um, well all the. All the aspects that that have well, we could talk another six hours, I think, about it, or, or six <laughs> weeks. <laughs> six weeks. We will not do that. Thank you very much, and um, bye bye. Yeah, sure. it was a pleasure. Bye bye, Paul, and bye everybody. Bye.